Hey guys, it's Tamp Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a Sony TV that has lines in it, like this one. Hey guys, alright, so I'm going to attempt to reflow the processors on the TCOM board. This is the bad TCOM board that connects to the LCD panel on the Sony TV. Uh, that gives you the lines. And right here, I ordered a board from eBay. Uh, I went on shopjimmy.com, and I tend to use them because they have a warranty on their boards but they were sold out, so I gambled and used uh, eBay. I tend not to use eBay too much because sometimes their uh, boards don't work out so well for me. And the problem is with uh, the reflow. The reflow doesn't work, very few times it does work. That's why I ordered the board, you know, other board. But I'm gonna try it anyway and see what happens. And reballing, sometimes you get a little bit better luck with reballing. The difference between reflow and reballing is when you reflow it, you're just superheating the processor. A reballing is if you have special equipment, and I'll post something to show you what the, the reballing station looks like. But it basically is uh, you, you superheat it, you take off the, the processor, you clean up, up the contacts, and you put the beads it looks like the solder beads back on and you superheat it back on the same processor mind you back onto the board so the only thing you're really doing is you re it's like better solder joints you're giving your old processor but um, reflow is basically you're reheating uh, where it liquid states the solder joints so it bonds back onto the board. But the properties of the solder is already corrupted, so it, 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 the reflow is not a permanent fix. But majority, it's best to just replace the processor altogether. So if you're taking the processor off the board anyway, and you're able to get uh, a brand new processor, might as well just put the new processor back on instead of just reballing the old processor. You know, sometimes you can't get these processors. That's the problem. And just to show you how hot this thing gets, it can actually melt solder. And don't forget the um, thermal pads when you put it back together. You see the lines are right here. So. Unplug the power cord, squeeze this connection that's coming from the main board to the TCOM board, and you want to pinch and pull this cable that's coming from the power supply board. Peel this up and disconnect the ribbon cable connections. So we're going to disconnect the ribbon cable connections to the LCD panel by flipping the latch up and pulling on the handle slides right out and then then um, remove the board and push your thumbs on the side right here and it should peel right off like that. Up. Hit the power button on top, cross your fingers, and see what happens. And you get the light that comes on, that's good news. And no lines, that's awesome. So, it was definitely the TCOM board that fixed the TV. The reflow did not work, however. Um, it was worth a shot. I mean, the board was going to get junked anyway. The best way to fix these things is reballing a brand new processor, not reballing the old processor back on the board. So, for me, I just ordered the board on uh, eBay. Shopjimmy.com was sold out. So, uh, this time I got lucky and I got a board on eBay. And it looks like it's going to work. 
So let me know if this video was informative, give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone this video may help, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And if you want more tech reviews coming your way for common easy tech fixes like this one, and tablets and computers and whatnot, uh, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Later, guys.